up, folks? <clears throat> It's your boy Bob Hollywood here with another exciting review. Today, today we're going to be reviewing this Marvel Legends Gamerverse figure. It is from the Abomination Builder figure wave, and the figure is obviously Captain America. It's how Captain America looks in the Avengers game. So it's a little bit comic y mixed with live action, if you ask me. Looks like this could have been a, a lame attempt at, uh, at Chris Evans as Captain America, but this is how he looks in the game. I personally like the uniform. This is my second one of these guys. The other one, the first one, I got before I did a review, before I was going back to doing reviews. So now I'm doing a review for this guy. Actually, this is my fourth one. I specifically wanted four of these dudes, and I'll show you why. But yeah, I got four of them. This is the second one I'm going to open. Then I'll open the other two afterwards. But um, you see this window, the giant window shows you Captain America. He only comes with the one accessory, which is the shield. I'm going to compare this guy to the uh, Alex Ross Captain America and the Alex Ross Captain America shield. To show you the differences there. Um, Captain America is always in the uh, in the. Uh, Comparisons of these videos, so that's one of the reasons why he's gonna be compared. But I also pulled out a shield just for this one. Window to the I mean, image of the right, it has the main characters from the game. That's how they look in the game. I think so far, only Captain America and Miss Marvel, who was released in this wave, have been released. There is an Iron Man, I think there was two Iron Mans, but I don't think either of them is that particular one. And uh, Hulk has been released, but not that particular Hulk. And Thor and Black Widow have not been released yet. On the opposite side, it's the same exact image. At the top, there is a Avengers logo. At the bottom, there's legalese and a barcode. And uh, in the back, there's a bio for Captain America. It says, injected with experimental super soldier serum, Steve Rogers has the peak potential of strength, endurance, and dexterity. And then this repeats it in several languages. Um, yeah, I know it's German. But on the back, it shows you the abomination figure that you can build. Uh, and it shows you other figures in the wave. I have rage, so I do have that part five, which is... This right arm, Captain America doesn't come to any other pieces. The only figure I'm really interested in this wave is Marvel. Like I said, I have Miss Marvel, but I have the older version of her, so I don't really feel the need to have the newer version. Don't care about Iron Man, don't like the way Mach 1 looks, and uh, don't care about the leader. But anyway, as you can see in his packaging, he is 7.55 ounces. I'm going to take a break and get this guy free, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and there he is, free from his plastic prison. Move this up just a little bit. As you can see, he weighs 3.35 ounces outside of his prison, and that's cool. Let's go over his one accessory. It is his shield. My paint on my silver here is a little bit sloppy, but overall, it's like it's just off-center, the star painting, but everything else looks pretty good, and that's not really noticeable. In the back, you see that it has a latch right there Oops, for his forearm. For some reason, I was always putting the shields on his left arm, I mean his right arm, which doesn't make as much sense because he's right-handed. So the shield would be for his, his left arm, which is his offhand, so he could still punch, but it actually fits better on that left hand. Excuse me, on that right hand. It doesn't want to stick at all on his left hand. So he has that. He also has a peg. Then go into his back. It's just resting. And that's kind of ugly. I don't know how you turn it. Because the underside of this isn't painted. <clears throat> but it's not as noticeable there, even though it's off-centered if you turn it that way. And you can see the mechanics of the shield if you do it that way. More than likely, I'm going to have this guy holding it. And it is a lighter color than the one that comes with the Alex Ross Captain America. This one's much better. There's some paint effects, but you can see it's smaller. But it's also just a different shade of red. This one's more vibrant. So I'm assuming that's how it looks in the game. As for the actual Captain America himself, he looks like a guy wearing this pads you find at a dollar, not a dollar store, a surplus store, or maybe he looks like a SWAT officer. I'm fine with that look. Again, okay, I haven't played the game. Don't really have a desire to play the game. I don't play too many games. I prefer to spend my money on action figures. So that's my, my pastime nowadays. He has pads on his arms. You can see there's some paint the effects there, which is unfortunate. The first one I had, his his legs wouldn't stand up straight, but this guy's good. His legs wouldn't stand up straight initially. I did eventually fix it, but he had like a, a droopy, like, his feet were like, his knees, I couldn't really get him to be a stand beyond that. But I fixed that on the other one, and this one doesn't have that problem. There is a newer version of this guy that came out with the, uh, oh, I can't think of what wave that is, but he's stealth suit. So instead of the blue and red and white, he's black. And I think maybe the star on his chest is silver, and that's about it. That one also comes with Unmasked Kid. That's the only reason why I would want that one. I'm fine with this guy. I'm, I like this Captain America. This is my uh, third Captain America in Marvel Legends form that I've owned. First being Cat Wolf, which I never played with. I sold it. It was before I got into the line. I sold it way under value. I didn't know any better. I was just trying to get some money in my pocket. And I was really collecting three and three quarter inches at the time. I mean, if you count three and three quarter inches, I have other I have Captain Americas. But four, I mean, for six inches, this is my third one. Or the third. Like I said, I have four of these guys. 
And real quick, we're going to do regular size comparisons, but I just want to look at the Captain America. The Alex Ross one's a little bit better, a little bit bigger, rather. And I'll show you why I have four of these guys, probably at the end of this video. But anyway, let me lower this. We're going to go over his details. I already said he has some paint defects there. Everything else looks pretty nice. The United States flag always moving forward. Yeah, I like what I see. This belt's free folding. No way to detach it. That's fine. It's just that it does move around. I like the knee pads. The only thing I wish there was some wa I wish there was some wash in the the gray parts. The blue I'm fine with. Maybe up here could have been a little bit of detailing, but um, for the most part I'm fine. I just wish the gray had some wash. A little bit of issue from the mold, right there. Oh yeah, and these guys have blue hair. That's just an overlook. I guess I didn't realize the hair was visible. His hair should obviously be blonde if it's actual Captain America. But that's not really going to get seen. And he has tiny feet. I forgot about that. He does have tiny feet. Teeny tiny feet. Reminds me of, uh, let's see. Yeah. It's smaller than Duke's. And I think Duke is. Yeah, Duke's shorter. I know you guys can just see that. Because I didn't adjust my camera. You'll see it in the height comparisons. But overall, I do like this guy. Um, I know this guy got a lot of hate when he was first announced. Because he does look like a, just like a rent-a-cop. Or SWAT officer as opposed to superhero. And even then, once he was released, I only got him because of the idea I had. And like I said, I got four of them. And I got them all in different means. One, I traded a figure, Marvel Legends, that I got on clearance for like $350 for one of these. So the same base value of $20. It's just that I didn't pay $20. One, I used the eBay coupon. Got it for basically a dollar and some change after tax. And then one, I paid full price. The first one, I paid full price. And then the third one, because technically this is the fourth one that I got for eBay. The third one... I might have bought it from my local comic shop on Black Friday for um, 33% off. So there's their legends, I think, were like $25 or $30. I can't remember, but it came up to less than $20 than normal. So basically, I paid full price for that one. So two of them I didn't pay full price for, two of them I did. Not complaining. If you look at his face, I don't know if you can tell, but he just looked like Steve. I mean, he looked like uh, uh, Chris Evans to me. But the unmasked kid that the other one comes with does not. It's just that I, could see it. I see it. Not the greatest likeness, but it looks like it's there. Let's go over his articulation. His arms are going to go up that high. And that's because they're stopped by these pads. These pads don't come off. You can take them off. They're just not meant to come off. But he does have rotation. 360 degrees at that shoulder. He has a bicep swivel. Sometimes they look more like muscle. This one just blends the two shirt pieces. He has a double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. And a hinge horizontally. Horizontal for both. He does not come with, again, he doesn't come with a gun. His head, by, by the way, rotates 360 degrees. Goes, that's normal. It goes down that much and looks up that much. Gives you some attitude. Waist, that much forward, not much. Way more back. Nothing, no tilt, but he does rotate at the waist, the hips. Again, that belt's free-flowing. Legs go out this far. Can he do the splits? He can do the splits. Uh, feet go up that high. Uh, legs go up that high that far swivel at the thigh double jointed knee which is hidden by this uh, knee pad I like the knee pad ouch pinch myself yeah the knee pad is just like it's a it's a cool little piece because it looks like a knee pad and he has a boot cut and his feet swivel and they have the rocker so he has all his articulation I think he's missing like I said his arms can't go up very high and his head doesn't go back very high I mean very far and he also he just couldn't he doesn't have a he doesn't have an ab but I think that's more of a newer thing let's let's get his height comparisons first let's just do his height a little under six and a half so we already compared him to Captain America let's bring Captain America out in his normal his normal person he gets compared with Duke and as you can see Duke is shorter the Alex Ross Captain America is taller and this guy has tiny feet compared to them Let's add him up, not add him up, but compare him to Piccolo and Colonel Quaridge, another soldier. He's taller than both of them. And we can say it's because of Super Soldier Serum or just because he's taller than them. It doesn't matter. Let's do Brie Bella, who he's almost as tall as, and Zarya, who towers over him. Zarya towers over the other Captain America. Up uh, next, let's do yet another soldier, Jonesy. 
from the Jazzware uh, Fortnite line and Rhino from the McFarlane Fortnite line. And uh, Captain America falls in the middle, obviously. And then our last size comparisons are going to be Finn, Star Wars Black Series, and John Jones, UFC Ultimates, Jazz Wars UFC figures, and Captain America's taller than both of them. So my final thoughts on this guy, and again, this isn't new to me. Again, this is my fourth one. The second one, I've got another plastic. I just did this guy for a review. Um, I like him. I like the look. I, I do. I mean, there's some issues with the head, with that hair. Uh, just some places where the paint meets the skin and the mask. Other than that, he's pretty good. I think I only saw that one paint issue throughout the body. And he has small feet. That's about it. He has small feet and he doesn't bend forward. That's all. But I do like him. I mean, I don't rate figures with a star or or a number, but I like this guy. He's a keeper. You might not need four of them like I bought, but I like him. Anyway, folks, that's it for this guy. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this guy in my review in general and the channel. Uh, love yourself. Love your neighbors. Love your enemies if you can. And always remember, action figures speak louder than words. Peace.